Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about how to back up with Time Machine. We've said it before, but backing up your data is really one of the most important things you'll do with your Mac. You may not even be aware that your Mac includes software to back up. I can assure you that it does, and it's really simple to set up. Before we can begin, we'll need just one thing, an external hard drive. It can't just be any external hard drive though. This hard drive will need to be at least as large as the one inside your computer. How can you find that out? Let me show you. First, we're gonna click on the Apple in the top left corner of the screen, and then on About This Mac. From there, we're gonna click on More Info, and then the Storage option at the top of the new window that opened. On the left side, you'll notice an icon that looks like a metal box. Well, that's what a hard drive looks like. Below it is the capacity, how much your hard drive can hold. If we got an external hard drive that wasn't big enough, that'd be like trying to pour the ocean into a bathtub. We need one that's at least this big. If you don't have one, come on into Peach Mac and we'll help you get it figured out. You'll be looking for a USB external hard drive. Now, if you've already got an external hard drive, what we're going to do next is to just plug it in. Don't pause the video, by the way, because what might pop up next is really important. Let me plug in my external hard drive and you'll see what I mean. My Mac is asking me if I'd like to use this external hard drive for Time Machine. That came up immediately without my having to do anything. If I say yes, then it will start the process of making my first backup. Now I'm gonna warn you that this box may not come up. If you've ever plugged your external hard drive into your computer, you probably already answered this question. That's okay though, we've got another way to turn it on. If you wanna pause this video and give it a shot, now would be a good time. Well, if the box did come up and you clicked yes, your computer should be starting its first backup. Congratulations. You'll know it's backing up because the tiny time machine icon in the top right corner of your screen will be spinning around. If it didn't, let's move on to the next step. First, you're gonna click on Apple in the top left corner of the screen, then System Preferences, and then Time Machine. Really, this couldn't be any easier. There's a nice big switch to turn on Time Machine and that's what we're gonna do. Now it's going to ask us which hard drive we wanna use. If you just got a new external hard drive, it's probably named after the company you bought it from. If this is an older hard drive you've got, be aware that Time Machine may want to erase the drive before using it as a backup. In that case, you'll definitely wanna move everything off of it before doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and select my drive now. Then I'm going to select Use Disk. Voila, that's it. We've got Time Machine making its first backup. If we click on that little Time Machine icon, we can see how far along it is. Once it's finished, the icon will stop spinning and we can click on it to find out when it last completed a backup. Some people will leave their backup hard drive plugged in all the time. In that case, Time Machine will back up any new files every hour. Time Machine is an incremental backup system, meaning that it adds new files to the existing backup rather than backing everything up all over again. That would take forever. Some people like to back up every week. You could set yourself an alert on your calendar. If you go too long without backing up, Time Machine will remind you every 10 days until you turn it off or you make a backup. Whatever you do, keep this hard drive somewhere safe and secure. It's the difference between a lot of worry and safety and security. 